The Department of Physical Sciences, Earth and Environment is a meeting point of different disciplines that try help finding solutions to the problems of our times. Our planet is in danger because of uh, power-hungry anthropogenic activities that are overheating the planet and producing pollution. So we are studying environmental changes and their impact on uh, biological systems and on the territory. We do that having biologists, chemists and geologists at work in a multidisciplinary approach. However, in addition to that, we need to devise new strategies, we need the new instruments and for this uh, we take advantage of the spin-off from the basic research in physics and engineering. We study the impact that human activities have on natural systems both at land and at sea. From the Mediterranean area up to the Arctic and Antarctic regions, we investigate the threat posed to marine biodiversity by emerging contaminants, such as microplastics and nanomaterials. But we also study new techniques for removing pollutants from water and for measuring and reducing the anthropogenic impacts on natural ecosystems in the quest for a circular and sustainable economy. Going from sea to land, we study the therapeutic properties of plants and the health of terrestrial invertebrates, such as bees, or snails, of which we recently discovered a new species. Here we are in the Accademia dei Fisiocritici, which is one of the oldest Italian scientific institutions that has a close and intense collaboration with the department for the promotion of the scientific culture. Our researchers also study the sea and its sediment from a geological point of view through geochemical, paleontological and structural analysis to investigate the past and current depositional environments. Looking back at the dawn of humanity, our researchers investigate the traces left in Ancient Cave, searching for the clues to the mysterious Neanderthal extinction. The geological studies bring us even further into the past to reconstruct the dynamics of the Antarctic ice sheet in response to climate changes or earlier when Antarctica was home to lush forest. At the same time, our researchers also map and monitor the territory to provide new field and remote technology to understand, prevent and mitigate the effect of natural hazards, such as coastal erosion, floods, landslides, earthquakes and volcanic eruption. Our studies also include the use and protection of mineral and water resources. We study also the sky detecting radiation coming from deep space. A group of physicists, together with Japanese and American colleagues, built a sophisticated cosmic ray telescope, CALET, operative on the International Space Station since 2015. Another group is operating a large gamma ray telescope at the Canary Islands, MAGIC, and developing a future array of ground telescopes. Also, the Sian Astronomical Observatory contributes with educational activities and observations of asteroids, variable stars, and extrasolar planets. Theoreticians study the quantum world, and experimentalists the subnuclear phenomena at CERN in Geneva. We develop also new optical and electronic sensors, as well as new strategies for clean energy production and new materials, like graphene that holds promise for energy transport.